Did you know that every time a hospital appointment gets missed, it costs the NHS on average between 90 to 160 pounds? Now combine that stat with the fact that every day, one in 10 appointments in the NHS results in a no-show. Scaling this up, it's a one billion pound a year problem for the NHS, who are already struggling to look after us all. So why would somebody miss an appointment? Well, studies have shown that there are a multitude of reasons. Yes, there are people who just forget about their appointment, but there are also ample other reasons why those people can't turn up. These vary from transportation issues, employer obligations, through to apprehensions about wait times when they get there, and even the weather. The reality is there isn't a blanket catch-all solution to this. It's a complex challenge with a lot of complex interdependent variables. But that is what makes it such a great candidate for artificial intelligence. As humans, we take in information and data to recognize and identify patterns in the world around us. We use our brains to process this data and solve problems. However, as the data required grows and problems get more complex, we're limited by the cognitive processing capacity of our single human brain. AI works in the same way, taking in large swathes of data and recognizing or identifying patterns within it. However, AI isn't limited to a single brain. We're using computers which have been growing in processing power year on year. If we can teach a computer to think like a human, we can scale up its processing power and solve enormous problems, recognize hidden patterns and find solutions that we couldn't do before. So how can AI help more of us to attend our appointments? Today, we give clinicians and hospitals information or data about our symptoms so that they can help us get better. In the same way, we need to give them information or data so that they can understand the reasons why it's hard for us to make the appointments that we've been given. So let's contextualize this with an example. Let's say that we know Monday mornings in a hospital have a particularly high rate of missed appointments. Is this down to one factor? Of course not. For example, you may be on a zero hours contract, meaning that your income isn't guaranteed. Two hours out of your time to visit the hospital means missing out on two hours of your pay. So you end up weighing up the financial risks versus your health risk. Alternatively, you may live in a rural area with poor transport connections, making certain times of the day extremely difficult to reach the hospital. Maybe you have to change between multiple buses and one late bus throws your schedule completely off track. Or finally, English may not be your first language, so you may not understand the letter through the post or notification you received about your upcoming appointment. Perhaps you couldn't quite understand the necessary steps you needed to complete prior to your appointment, meaning that the appointment ultimately couldn't go ahead. All three of these are unique and individual challenges that we need to overcome, and AI can help solve them. So how do we do that? Well, we can use AI to detect patterns and identify these issues. This richer understanding then allows us to intervene and provide you with solutions. For example, for the zero hours contractor, we can shift your appointment to a more convenient time so that you don't miss out on receiving your wage. For the non-native speaker, AI can translate those reminders into a language you understand. Or finally, for the person who struggles with transport, it may even make more sense for a hospital to fund a 10 pound taxi to get you there rather than losing 160 pounds on that appointment. In this way, AI enables hyper-personalization of healthcare delivery. And hyper-personalization of healthcare is the key to bridging health inequalities in the NHS. Mm -hmm.